Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I want to show you how to solve a problem that a lot of people have when they use Pan and Crop in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Let me show you what I mean. Normally, when you select Pan and Crop, you'll go up and you'll select the Pan and Crop icon, and it'll open a window like this that you can apply your Pan and Crop settings to. And then once you've applied your Pan and Crop, you close the window by using this little X right there. And if you do that, the next time you use Pan and Crop, it's going to pop up exactly where you want it. The problem that people have, though, is instead of closing the window right there, they'll drag the pan and crop window down here and dock it. And generally, after they dock it, they'll move that area so it looks like that. And the next time that they want to use pan and crop, they click the pan and crop icon, and nothing happens. And that's because they've hidden the pan and crop window. And if they close that and then use the icon, it does the same thing. You don't see the pan and crop window. And then they start wondering, well, what's happened to my pan and crop I don't see it on the screen anymore. There's an easy way to resolve this, and that's to go down and look for these little dots here. And the dots tell you that there's a movable window behind what you see. Now, you could use the side arrow that would open the pan and crop, but doing that makes it very difficult to find. So what you want to do is use the vertical row of dots, put your mouse on those, and then drag. And when you do, you're able to drag the window back on top of the screen. And after you adjust your pan and crop settings, Always close it with the little X here. And that way, the next time you use Pan and Crop, it'll open back up on the screen. This same technique works with anything that's in your docked area. You can grab the row of dots and move the screen around, or you can redock it just by putting it back in the tabbed area. Real easy to do. So the next time you think you've lost your Pan and Crop window or any of your other windows, look down here for a row of dots to make sure there's not a window hidden behind your tabbed area. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my Sony Vegas Movie Studio Tips of the Week. You can find a lot more like this at my website, www.bmyers.com, and a whole lot more on my DVD, 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.